Hey guys, how's it going? Last video I left you with um, the Prius and the bad hybrid battery and you know how to figure out how to um, go through the steps on making sure your battery actually is bad and not um, a smaller cheaper problem before you throw that big chunk of money towards a new hybrid battery. Uh, like I said, the uh, my hybrid battery was uh, essentially dead. I had that big red triangle, all the voltages uh, looked good except for two. Uh, so those two blocks of uh, voltages were made up of four modules. I went ahead and bought four new modules and I got it put in uh, over the past two days. Uh, it took me about three or four hours total. Uh, got it all in and the car actually runs and drives. So now a lot of people on the Prius forum say do not just install one module or two modules because you need to power balance each cell to the average of your other cells otherwise um, I don't know, it strains the rest of the cells or kills them prematurely or something, but um, my cells on average measured about 7.6 to 7.8 volts. I got some replacement cells about that voltage level. I checked all the volts in uh, the Torque Pro app. All the blocks are um, within about 0.4 volts of each other at max. Uh, when they're at minimum, they're like 0.1 or 0.2 um, within each other. So I think I got lucky, I think I got away with it. Um, only time will tell though, but uh, my hybrid battery kicks on perfectly. I'm getting like 40 to 50 miles per gallon, just like stock. It's, uh, it's great. But uh, let me show you what I found in my, my hybrid battery pack. So would you look at that? When I opened the pack and I saw this, I was like, wow, that's, um, that would be the problem there. And as you can see, it's only holding at about 1.33 volts. So clamp there, clamp there, alligator clips. So that is the voltage of that battery. Uh, I don't know why that uh, seemed to have burst into flames there. But I guess that's kind of good news. It, it shows that one battery catastrophically failed and it wasn't just, um, you know, the batteries wearing down. It was actually a point of failure so that kind of makes me lean towards the uh, the theory that the rest of my modules in my battery pack are still pretty good they're still holding pretty good voltage uh, so that was one so that was the uh, the block that had like 8.8 .8 volts total because one one cell was or one module was good so it's like 7 volts plus this one with 1.33 volts so let me get the uh, this other pack or this other module So this other one, it's not, it's nowhere near as dead as this, but it only measures at 6.35 volts. So there was definitely something going wrong with this. Um, the burnt pack was kind of in the center, which from what I've been reading is kind of the, uh, the part where the pack gets hot just because it's in the middle and it doesn't get as much airflow as the batteries on the edge. This one was also kind of near the center, but it was kind of more towards the, uh, kind of more towards the end. It was maybe like three quarters down the pack but uh, as as to why that one only has 6.35 volts I couldn't tell you but uh, I replaced these two I went ahead and replaced the next two lowest modules they were at like 7.5 I replaced them with modules that were at about 7.6 to 7.7 and uh, yeah like I said the whole battery pack is nice and happy now everything's working great and um, I think I lucked out so I got pretty lucky here. Um, my alternatives, if this doesn't work or if it uh, didn't work right off the bat, would be to um, buy this kind of alternative battery pack by this one guy on the Prius forums. It's about $1,600 shipped. So that's one option, but he didn't have anything in stock right now, so that would be a bit of a wait. Uh, the other option is to go to one of the many hybrid battery refurbishers and uh, buy one of their packs. The cheapest I found was $1,000 plus core and uh, whatever shipping is to return your core. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. <clears throat> but uh, that was one option, but it only had like a uh, um, one year, I think it was like a one year warranty on that, just because they are they are using used second gen hybrid battery modules. Uh, the other options would be to go ahead and buy a brand new OEM battery from Toyota. There's kind of some debate on the Prius forums as to how much that actually costs. Some people quote 
price is as low as like 17 or 1800 dollars but other people say that price is only for certain dealerships to certain people and uh, about on average you're looking at like low 2000s to mid 2000s so to get away with just uh, replacing a few modules here only costs me about uh, 40 bucks or so per module and um, I mean I took the pack out I know how to do it all again if I have to but uh, that's a huge win I'm gonna go and enjoy my great gas mileage now thanks for checking in this is a bit of an update on the Prius if you have any more Prius questions I'll help you as best I can if you want to see more 6.0 power stroke videos let me know uh, you can see the the old Jay-Z in the drift car they're getting some love here pretty sh pretty shortly but uh, stay tuned thanks for watching